Spectrum, helpful tips and tricks for the jobs page and list boxes. This video is one in a series of videos to help you learn about features you may not know about in Spectrum. Be sure to watch the other videos in our series on Viewpoint's YouTube channel and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest and greatest content. So we're going to talk about jobs, a couple things in job class that there is to know. A couple of things that, that are important is that when you go through the site map, you'll notice you've got your standard traditional menus, but we also have a job section here. When you click on jobs, these are links to every part of the info bar for jobs. So the idea here is that when you go to the uh, jobs page, this is the same as, you know, this, I mean, the info bar is basically where you're ending up. Um, and so I just want to make sure that everybody is aware that, that all of those different options will appear and they're in the site, man, the site map so that you can get there quickly and directly. Also, uh, as a, just as a suggestion or security option, you might not see things on here and that may be due to the fact that you don't have a certain module or you might not have security to that page. Uh, it is very common that some users will not get uh, access to certain payroll pages just because it might contain something significant and quite, you know, something that we don't want to share. Okay, so now let's talk about this screen here, the job screen. This is an example of a list box. Now, list box is are basically just that. You can move columns around, you can sort on columns, all of that kind of good stuff. Whatever order you put them in, when you come back to the screen, it will retain that, that order. So, so that's very helpful. If there's something important that you want to see, maybe um, maybe you care more about, oops, the projected, co I mean, this is the projected cost override. Uh, if you've manually changed, if you've manually changed the, um, the way uh, projected costs are going to run and you put an override in there, you can take that column and put it out to the front so that you could then see it. Now, if you're done and you don't like this option anymore or you want to go back to standard, you right click and you go to clear settings. This works on any screen. This is the same as accounts payable vendors, AR customers, etc. Anywhere that you've got a list box.